Park TV. Winter Day, New York City, Economic Finance Report, Sammy B, outside journalism, <laughs> interviewing different people who we'll talk about the economy, finance, you know, uh, what more is to say, the economy in the United States is doing pretty prevalent, you know, it's doing pretty well, you know, as we proceed, uh, you know, we're trying to get some of the views, some of the, some sort of correspondence views about uh, how the economy and finance affects their personal lives, and that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. like that I, I saw for the millennials you know uh, uh, the, uh, you know our demographic being the biggest demographic after the baby boomers why do you feel like job creation is so limited you know the opportunities for for the uh, for the millennials are limited I'm not even really sure to be honest with you it's just like there's like not a lot of like money in circulation money in circulation yeah it's like people help out with whoever they like, my, like if I'm trying to get a job and you're my friend you're gonna go ahead and get the job like Mm -hmm. It's gonna help you get the job, right. but if you don't know anybody inside a business place, you're not gonna go ahead and get that job. Okay, so you feel like the networking definitely helps. It's more yeah. beneficial for people who have, who have that type of network. Yeah, people, you know, it comes back to using your computers, more technology oriented compared to you know other, um, you know, like other generations. Okay, you know, I feel that we have a, we have a leg up, okay. you know, being that we've grown up with the computer. Okay. And we know more of that economy. Okay. And we, like, you know, like Apple, Facebook, right. YouTube. You know, they didn't have that back in the day. Right. And I think, you know, as far as our economy goes, it's going to keep growing. It's going to keep booming. Right. And I think we're heading in the right direction. I think it's getting better if you could raise minimum wage ten dollars like they're trying to do. Oh, that's a great, that's a great segue. All right, so you feel okay? You, you do feel like the minimum wage needs to be raised yeah. to, to um, you know, to affect the economy? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's it's deplorable. Wage need, wages need to go up no matter because I work in you know in finance and I also work in hospitality. Right. So in hospitality, the wages have not kept up. People are making the same money in hospitality now that they were making. 20 years ago. Okay. You know what I mean? Tipping still 20%. Right. Food might be a little bit more expensive, so you might make an extra 100 or 200 bucks a week, but that's about it. I feel like, especially in New York City, uh, us having one of the highest you know, uh, cost of living, you know, the, the minimum wage is, is far from you know, what it should be, and that's why you, know, you still got a lot of people poverty and things like that. You know, I just, me personally, I try to work with what I've got and consider it a blessing, you know, to be in this position to try to you know, use everything as a stepping stone. Save your money. Save your money? Okay. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we're not going to have, you know, we're not going to have social security. Alright. So we got to save. We got to save for what's going on in the future. Millennials go out there and vote, man. You know, uh, something gonna change if you worship any. If you suck a you already know these people ain't gonna give us nothing. We gotta go out here and work for it, whether it be physical or we go and speak our mind. Let's make it happen. This is Ben Bassey, Economic.